Hello and welcome to this beginner's vinyasa flow. This will be a well-rounded practice that is designed to help you build both strength and flexibility in equal amounts. So there is a focus on both in equal measure. When you're ready, let's get started lying down. Separate the legs and roll out the feet to the edges of the mat. Roll the shoulders down the back and flip the palms so they face up. Become aware of your breathing. Throughout this class, we will try to maintain an equal in-breath and out-breath. If it helps, you can count your breath in for four counts, out for four counts. This is also a helpful practice whenever you notice that your mind is wandering. Maybe you're beginning to think about your to-do list. You can redirect your focus back to the breath. Reach the arms overhead, find a full body stretch. Bring the legs together and point the toes. Cross the left ankle over the right and take both feet to the right side corner and both hands with the arms together to the right side top corner. So you find a curve down the right side of the body you're beginning to stretch the left side body. Bring the hands and the feet back through center, realign the spine. Then switching the cross of the feet, cross the right ankle over the left. Take both feet to the left lower corner and the hands to the upper left corner, stretching through the right side of the body. Bring the hands and the feet back through center. Uncross the feet and open the arms into a cactus position. Bend the legs and bring the knees in towards the chest and begin to rock the legs from side to side. So you're finding a gentle twist as you take the legs to the left and then over to the right. You can start to linger a little bit longer on each side to so begin to deepen the twist. Maybe even taking the knees all the way down to the mat coming back through center and then switching to the opposite side. Take this once more on left and right sides. Then bring the knees back through center. Bring the hands under the backs of the knees and start to rock forwards and backwards. Your movements can be slow to begin. Gradually begin to build some momentum. And you're aiming to come all the way up to sit. Keeping the hands underneath the knees, lift the feet so the shins are parallel to the mat. Draw the lower belly in for boat pose. And we're focusing on keeping the length in the spine. Roll the shoulders back. If you need to lower the feet at any time to regain balance, that's okay. If the balance is there and you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, reach the arms forwards. Focus the gaze on one spot. Breathing steadily. Inhale in position. 
Exhale, lower the feet. Swing the legs round to find tabletop, hands and knees position. Set the hands, shoulders width distance, knees, hips width. Spread the fingers wide and begin to rock the body from side to side. So we're beginning to warm up the wrist joint. And you can linger a little bit longer on either side, taking more weight onto that side. Begin to shift the body forwards and backwards. So we're just moving into extension of the wrist joint. And then we'll put this all together to move through a little bit of rotation so we go all the way around in a circular motion, going clockwise and anti-clockwise. And then returning back to center. Reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, thread the left arm under the right. Lower the shoulder, lower the head to the mat. Reach the right arm to the top of the mat and settle in for five steady breaths. Use the right hand to press your way away from the mat and reach the left arm up again to counter twist. Lower the left hand. Inhale, reach the right arm up, twisting open. Exhale, thread the right arm under the left, lower the shoulder, lower the head. Reach the left arm to the top of the mat and settle in for five breaths. Focusing the gaze on one spot as you breathe steadily. Press the left hand into the mat to lift up and away. Reach the right arm up, counter twist, and lower the right hand. Wonderful. We'll be moving a little bit more dynamically now. Inhale and lower the belly, gazing towards the top edge of the mat. Exhale, begin to round the spine and press the floor away. Gaze towards the belly. Inhale, lower the belly, finding a back bend. Gaze forwards. Exhale, round the spine, gaze to the belly. Inhale, lower the belly. You can roll the shoulders back as well. Gaze forwards. Exhale, round the spine, rolling the shoulders forwards. Press the floor away. Inhale as you lower, find a back bend. Exhale as you round. Take this a couple more times at the pace of your own breath you feel for synchronizing each movement with each breath. Cycle through this for one more inhale and exhale. And then finding your way back to a neutral spine. Sit the hips down to the heels. Lower the head towards the mat for child's pose. This is a great pose to become familiar with. If at any time in the practice you need to take a time out, this is a posture that you can return to to regain some energy. Moving a little bit more dynamically now, beginning to synchronize movement with breath. Inhale, come back up to tabletop. Tuck the toes, begin to press into the toes. Exhale, lift the hips, press through the hands for downward facing dog. 
we're prioritizing length in the spine over length in the hamstrings. So the heels can stay lifted, knees can stay bent for now. Press through the hands. Inhale in downward facing. Exhale, lower the knees, come back through tabletop. Inhale in tabletop. Untuck the toes if you like. Exhale, send the hips to the heels, lower the head for child's pose. Inhale to lift up into tabletop, tucking the toes. Exhale, hips lift, downward facing dog. Inhale in downward facing. Exhale, lower the knees, come back through tabletop. Inhale in tabletop. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Lower the forehead. Inhale, come up into tabletop. Tuck the toes, press into the hands. Exhale, hips lift for downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide, press through the hands. Inhale in downward facing. Exhale, bend the knees, lower them to find tabletop. Inhale in tabletop. Exhale, press back to child's pose. Last round. Inhale, come up into tabletop, tucking the toes, exhale, pressing back to downward facing dog. Inhale in downward facing, press through the hands and the feet. Exhale, knees bend, lower down into tabletop, flat back. Inhale in tabletop, Exhale, press back to child's pose. Wonderful. Rest the forehead on the mat and steady the breath. Relax the arms if the wrists are feeling a little bit tired. Now's a great opportunity to take rest. When you're ready, inhale, come back up to tabletop. Tucking the toes, exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Set the hands and the feet. Prioritizing length in the spine, so it's okay if you need to keep the knees bent. And the heels don't have to be grounded. Look towards your legs so you find length in the neck. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, step the feet to the hands for forward fold, taking as many steps as you need. Keep a bend in the knees and forward fold. Prioritize length in the spine. Roll the shoulders back, lengthen the upper back. Draw the chin to the chest, lengthen the back of the neck. Option two, stay here in stillness if you like, or if you prefer to find more movement in the practice. Bring opposite hand to elbow and take a gentle sway from side to side for ragdoll. Keeping the head and neck completely relaxed. Pressing through the feet to find stability in the lower body. If you're swaying from side to side, find stillness. Release the hands from the elbows. Bring hands to the hips and with a flat back, inhale, come all the way up to stand, extending the legs fully. Roll the shoulders down the back and relax the arms either side. 
finding Tadasana, mountain pose. And the name is a great indicator. We're trying to um, stand very tall, and very strong when we're in mountain. So the legs are active. Abdominal muscles are engaged, lifting up from the crown of the head. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift halfway. Hands can come to the thighs or the lower legs for support. Exhale, lower the hands and step the right foot back. Lower the right knee for low lunge. Reach the arms up. And take a moment to become aware of your alignment. We want the front knee on top of the ankle. Tucking the tailbone so that the lower back is lengthened. Lifting the rib cage away from the hips so we create space through the spine. Inhale in position. Exhale completely. One more full breath in. Exhale, lower the hands. Extend the front leg, shuffle the foot forwards to create space. Flex the front foot. And using the fingertips as support, rolling the shoulders down the back, lengthen the spine. This can be quite an intense pose for the left hamstring. So there's the option to keep a slight bend in the left knee to make this a little bit more accessible. Draw the chin towards the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. So oftentimes when we are challenged in yoga postures, we tend to create unnecessary tension in the jaw and the neck. So whenever you feel those challenges, bring awareness to your head and your neck. Notice if you're beginning to tighten and tense. Inhale, lift the chest, bend the front knee, come back through low lunge. Plant the hands on the mat, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. So now we've got space. Step the left foot back to meet the right. So we find plank pose, bringing the feet together, squeeze the thighs towards one another. So you create a strong lower body. Press the floor away and draw the lower belly in. We're aiming to have shoulders on tops of wrists. Take a breath in as you find your alignment. Breath out, lower the knees. From here, begin to shift the body forward so the shoulders come over the wrists and you reach a tipping point. As you can't go any further, begin to bend the elbows, keeping the arms close to the side body as you lower down, modified chaturanga. Untuck the toes and bring the arms forwards for sphinx pose. Elbows under shoulders, forearms parallel. If the lower back is feeling sensitive in sphinx, then separate the legs. Press the tops of the feet into the mat and focus on pointing the toes so you're activating your hamstrings. And this will help support the lower back. Inhale in position. Exhale, lower the chest. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Press up to tabletop, then lifting the hips, pressing back to downward facing dog. Set the hands and the feet. Sometimes the feet need to change position from that transition. Depending on body proportions, the feet aren't always in the right place. You may need to find out the right distance for you. And then stepping the right foot forwards, Lower the back knee, coming back to low lunge on the other side. Arms reaching up, inhale. 
bringing right knee on top of the ankle, finding length in the lower back, lifting the rib cage away from the hips. Inhale in position. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Full breath out. Lower the hands. Extend the front leg. Shuffle the foot forwards to create space. And flex the foot. Keeping a bend in the knee if you need to. Using the fingertips for support. Roll the shoulders back. Lengthen the spine. Draw chin to chest. Lengthen the back of the neck. Keeping the front foot flexed, so we're switching on the muscles in the legs. Inhale, lift the chest. Bend the front leg, come back through low lunge. Plant the hands on the mat. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. And then step the right foot to meet the left for plank pose. Pressing the floor away, drawing the lower belly in. Looking in between the thumbs so we create length in the back of the neck. Spread the fingers wide so you're really using the entire hand. Inhale in position. Exhale, knees down. Shift forwards. As you find that tipping point, Bend the elbows, keeping the arms close to the sides of the ribs, lower down. Untuck the toes, bring the arms forwards for Sphinx Pose. Press the forearms into the mat to lift the chest. Using the legs, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale in position. Exhale, lower the chest. Bring the hands below the shoulders, tuck the toes. Press up to tabletop. Lifting the hips, press back to downward facing dog. Set the hands and the feet. Pressing through the hands so that you create space in the spine. It's what we're aiming for. Relax the head and neck. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, step the feet to the hands for forward folds. Keeping a slight bend in the knees and forward fold if you like. Or you can work towards extending the legs all the way. Hands can come to the backs of the ankles or the backs of the legs. Draw the chin towards the chest, prioritizing length through the whole spine. Inhale, lift halfway, bringing the torso parallel to the mat. You may need to bring the hands to the legs for support. Exhale, lower the hands, step the left foot back, lower the left knee. Coming back to low lunge, reach the arms up, take a moment to check your alignment. Inhale, reach the arms up as if you're getting even taller. Exhale, take a slight twist to the right, twisting through the torso. Inhale, reach up, create space. Exhale, twist slightly right. Last time, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, twisting even further to the right. Open the arms out into a T shape. Roll the right shoulder back and reach the arms away so the arms are working just as much as the legs. Inhale in position. Exhale, lower the left hand down to the mat and reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. 
relax the head and neck, draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. Option to take this variation. If you'd like to go one further, you can tuck the back toe and lift the back knee. If the back knee is lifted, press through the front foot and the back toes for stability. Reach up through the right arm, roll the right shoulder back so you're twisting to open to the right. Inhale in position. If the back knee is lifted, lower the back knee. Exhale, lower the right hand to the mat. Extend the right leg forwards, flexing the foot. So we're coming back to this hamstring stretch, this time with a twist. Place the left hand on the mat. Begin by squeezing the inner thighs together. So you're hugging the legs together. Take the weight onto the left hand and reach the right arm up to twist open to the right. This is where the balance begins to get challenged here. Press through the right heel and the left hand. Reach up through the right arm to twist open. Inhale in position, keeping the gaze steady. Exhale, lower the right hand. Great work. Bend the right leg. Planting the hands, tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee. Step back to plank. Bringing the legs together, pressing the floor away, finding a strong foundation. Gazing down at the mat so back of neck is relaxed. Inhale in position. Exhale, knees down. Shift forwards and begin to look forwards in the direction that you're going in. As you find that tipping point, elbows bend lower down to the mat. Keeping the hands where they are. So we're aiming for the hands to be under the elbows, which I know is challenging to work out where that is, but over time you'll be able to feel for where that is. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. And finding a lightness through the hands, so you're barely even pressing down, begin to lift the chest. So working towards strengthening the spine, and the chest may only be lifting ever so slightly, and that's okay. Press the tops of the feet into the mat, engage the legs. One more breath in position. Exhale, lower the chest, tuck the toes, and the hands should be in the correct position to press back into tabletop. Lift the hips, press back to downward facing dog. And then set the feet if you need to adjust. Take a breath in downward facing dog. Full breath out. Step the left foot forwards, lower the back knee. Arms up for low lunge, finding your alignment. Front knee is on top of the ankle. Reach the arms up, find length, inhale. Exhale, twisting slightly left. Inhale, reach up, create more space. Exhale, twisting a little bit more to the left. Last time, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, going all the way to the left. Open the arms out to a T shape. Reaching the arms away. Drawing the thighs together to help with the stability. Inhale in position, exhale, lower the right hand to the mat, reach the left arm up. Staying here or tucking the back toe, lifting the back knee. Roll the left shoulder back, open the torso out towards the left side. Relax the head and neck, right ear draws towards the right shoulder. Deep breath in. Exhale out, lower the back knee if it's lifted, lower the left hand, extend the left leg forwards and flex the foot. Keep the right hand on the mat, 
start by squeezing the thighs together, then reach the left arm up as you twist left. Keep the left foot flexed, press through the left heel. Head and neck stays relaxed. Deep breath in, reach up through the left arm, open out. Exhale out. One more breath in position. Exhale, lower the left hand. Bend the front leg, come back through low lunge. Plant the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the back knee and step back to plank. Inhale in plank pose, pressing the floor away. Squeezing the legs together so the lower body is really active. Inhale in position. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, shift forwards, find that tipping point. Exhale as you bend the arms, lower down to the belly. Keep the hands where they are, untuck the toes. Pointing the feet, pressing the tops of the feet and the legs into the mat. Inhale, forwards and up. Trying to press down as little as you can with the hands. So almost as if you could hover the hands off the mat so you're barely using them. We're working towards strengthening the spine. Inhale in position. Exhale, lower the chest. Press back to tabletop. Toes tuck. Lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Set the hands and the feet. Settle in for five breaths here. And the body may be feeling a little bit more open, a little bit more responsive. So there's the option to pedal out the legs, bending a little bit more into one leg as you straighten into the other. And then switching sides. And as you do this, the hips may want to sway from side to side. You may want to take a little bit more weight into one hand than the other. So this is a great opportunity to begin playing around with feeling and sensation in the body. So you can start to get curious in your practice. Settle into stillness. Inhale, look in between the hands. Exhale, step the feet to the hands. Finding forward folds. Hands can be on the backs of the legs. They may just be hanging in the space. Draw the chin to the chest, lengthen the back of the neck and steady the breath. Bring the hands to the hips. With a flat back, inhale, come all the way up to stand. Wonderful. Release the arms, relax the shoulders. And turning side onto the mat. I'm assuming that you're standing at the top of the mat so the right leg is out to the side. Step out with the right leg so you find a very generous stance. And then turn the right toes to face the back of the mat. And we're looking to align the right heel with the bridge of the left foot, as if you had a line all the way down the mat. Have a strong bend in the right knee so the knee is on top of the ankle. Open the arms out for warrior two. And we're aiming to align the shoulders on tops of the hips here. Let the hips sink down so the legs are really working. Reaching the arms away, relax the shoulders. Inhale in position. Exhale completely, extend the right leg. Then keeping the feet where they are, just pivot on the right heel so the right toes come to face the side of the mat. 
then pivot on the left heel, so left toes face the top of the mat, bend the left knee and you should be in warrior two on the opposite side. Strong bend in the left knee, let the hips sink down. Reach the arms away, relax the shoulders. Inhale in position. Exhale completely. Extend the left leg. Pivot on the left heel so the toes face the side. And we'll work through this a little bit more dynamically now. Pivot on the right heel so right toes face the back of the mat. Bend the right knee. Sinking the hips down, reaching the arms away. Warrior two. Inhale in position. Exhale completely. Flip the right palm. Inhale, reach up and lean back towards the back leg. And the left hand can rest on the left leg. Open the chest to the sky. Inhale in position. Exhale, come back, find warrior two. Extend the right leg. Pivot on the right heel. Bring the feet parallel. Pivot on the left heel, come back through warrior two on the opposite side. Ground down through the feet, sinking the hips, inhale. Exhale, completely flip the left palm. Inhale as you reach up, lean back, lengthening the left side of the body. Exhale, completely come back through warrior two. Extend the left leg, turn the left toes back in, feet parallel, last round. Pivot on the right foot, bend the right knee. Warrior two, inhale in position. Exhale completely, flip the right hand. Inhale, come up through reverse warrior. Create space through the right side body. Exhale, come back through warrior two. Bend the right arm and bring the right forearm to the right thigh. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over for a variation of extended side angle. Inhale in position. Use the right arm as a support. Exhale completely. Relaxing the head and neck. Keeping the chest lifting away from the right thigh. With the next inhale, windmill the arms, come up, find warrior two. Extend the right leg, pivot on the right heel, last side. Turn the left foot out, bending the left knee, warrior two. Inhale in position. Exhale out, flip the left palm. Inhale, come up through reverse warrior. Exhale, come back through warrior two. Bend the left arm, bring the forearm to the thigh. Inhale, right arm sweeps all the way forwards. Creating one line from the right fingertips to the right heel. Relax the head and neck. Open the torso to the side. Inhale in position. Exhale out, windmill the arms up, inhale, find warrior two. Extend the left leg, turn the left toes to the side of the mat and bring the hands to the hips. Lifting the chest, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold forwards for a straddle forward fold. Option to keep the hands on the hips or lower the hands to the mat or a set of blocks if you have them. Draw the chin to the chest, relax the head and neck and settle in for the next five breaths. Even inhales and exhales. Bring the hands to the hips, 
lengthen the spine. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Edge the feet in a little bit closer if they're quite wide. Keep the heels where they are, but turn the toes out 45 degrees. Then bending the knees, sink the hips down for goddess. Hands can stay on hips or hands can come into prayer. Press down through the feet, sink the hips a little bit more. If you notice that your pelvis is tilted, so your um, you're sticking your bum out. Instead, try to tuck the tailbone, create length in the lower back, and then sink the hips down. Last breath here, I know it's challenging. Inhale deeply. Exhale, extend the legs, turn the feet in parallel, release the arms. Great work. Step to the top of the mat. Feet hips width or closer together, depending on what you prefer. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift up halfway. Roll the shoulders down the back. Exhale, plant hands, step both feet back to plank pose. Legs together, pressing the floor away. Gaze in between the hands. Staying just a couple more breaths than we've been practicing, so we're really working on challenging our strength. Spread the fingers wide, press the floor away. Draw the lower belly in. Inhale in position. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, shift forwards. Exhale, find your tipping point, bend the arms, lower the body. Keeping the hands where they are, untuck the toes. And keeping a lightness through the hands, inhale, lift the chest. Even if it's just a little bit, really working towards strengthening the spine, press the tops of the feet into the mat. And then slowly lower the chest. Press back to tabletop. Bring the big toes together and the knees out to the edges of the mat. Then sinking the hips down to the heels, reach the arms forwards for a wide variation of child's pose. Rest the forehead on the mat and take rest. Relaxing the shoulders and the whole upper body. Walk the hands into the knees and lift yourself off the mat to find a kneeling position. Swing the legs forwards. And bending both knees, bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees draw out wide. You can have the feet fairly close to the pelvis, or if you prefer, you can have the feet a little bit further away so the legs are in more of a diamond shape. Holding on to the outsides of the feet or the big toes. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gentle fold forwards. Relax the head and neck. Focus on prioritizing length in the spine. And instead of pulling yourself into the feet, just allow gravity to do the work here. 
So you're just folding into whatever space is available without forcing anything. With the next breath in, lift the chest. Bring the knees together and extend the legs. Now turning side onto the mat, open the left leg out to the side, bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Bring the left hand inside the left leg. And then reach the right arm up and over Begin to bend to the left. Relax the head and neck. Option to close down the eyes if you like. Begin to soften into position. Keep the left foot flexed, reaching through the right arm. With the next inhale, slowly come all the way up. Lower the right arm as you lift the torso. And we'll switch sides, extend the right leg out to the side. Bring the left foot to the inner right thigh. Right hand to the inside right leg. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and over, bend to the right. As you find space through the left side. Relax the head and neck even more and soften into position. Keep the right foot flexed, reach through the left arm. With the next breath in, slowly lift the torso, release the left arm. Extend both legs in front of you, facing towards the front of the mat. And come down to lie on the back. Bend both knees and hug the knees into the chest. Take a gentle rock from side to side. Option to open the knees out. And if it's accessible, option to reach for the outsides of the feet to find happy baby. Continuing to rock from side to side. Beginning to slow down all movements. Bring the legs together, knees together. Extend the legs all the way down the mat. Let the feet roll out to the corners. Relax the arms, flipping the palms to face up. And settling in for Shavasana. bringing your awareness back to the breath, 
Inhaling for four counts. Exhaling for four counts. Begin to deepen the breath. Start to move the fingers and the toes. Hug the knees into the chest. And roll onto your right side. Taking a few moments here just to savor the effects of the practice. Remembering that state of bliss at the end of a practice. When you're ready, come back up to a comfortable seat with the eyes remaining closed. Settle back in, sitting up tall, lengthening the spine. Bring hands into Prat Heart Center and bow the head. Taking a moment to give thanks to your body for all that it enables you to do. And thanks to the practice for this sense of bliss that we're able to experience. Thank you so much for joining me for class. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I would love to hear about your experiences from the mat. So if you do have a couple moments spare, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear about this class and how it went for you. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.